What up, guys? This is Dadon. I'm coming to you out of Canada. And I wanted to speak just briefly about a problem I've been having with my Android phone. My specifically, it's an S9, Galaxy S9. And the, pr the problem that I was having is a technical issue. It's when I go to record using the microphone built into the phone in a third-party application, specifically Music Maker Jam, the audio, the, the input is extremely low. So I have to use many layers in order to build up the volume on it and it takes away from the quality um, of the instrumental at most points. So I just wanted to talk about a fix that I've discovered today. Um, you can increase your volume by almost 100%, um, if not 200 probably actually, to be honest. So something that most musicians already have is a microphone, right? Or they're planning to get is a microphone. One of the things I was, I was researching, by the way, I did a bunch of research on the Samsung, how to increase the volumes during these, um, the input volume of the microphone during these third party applications. Um, and most of the applications that are free don't work, actually none of them worked for me for a while, so I was recording simultaneously upon Music Maker Jam. Um, and everything else was, you know, it's only like 10, 15 bucks here, you know, 30 bucks there, but like you start, you start looking at it and if it doesn't work, then it's going to start building up. It's going to start adding up and there's going to be more. It's going to be an accumulation of cost for something that may or may not be solved. Um, to be honest with you, I figured out the solution today purely coincidentally by chance um, due to a mistake that uh, occurred between myself and a, during a transaction um, between myself and a business. Uh, so I bought this S9 and I thought that after having my A8, uh, making and my quality of uh, microphone input levels were pretty low on the A8, but they were manageable-ish. Um, but after I was, so after having that phone for over a year, year and a half, I was like, you know, time to upgrade, probably get better microphone quality out of this new phone. Well, no, it was the exact same, if not actually a little worse. Um, which meant like I was right on the brink on the A8 so when it's a little bit worse I actually can't hear it um, not reasonably um, so I went through all of these I did a bunch of research there's no um, way to do it without like possibly injuring your phone that I thought that I saw of. Um, or without like rooting it or without um, uh, purchasing an application. So I I figured, you know, and I'm gonna foretell you this that um, the microphone that I'm using currently is a Yeti. So you can purchase this microphone, I think it's a hundred and eighty dollars, all included maybe. From, I got it from a pawn shop, so I think I actually paid like 160, 140 or something like that. Um, but, so you get this Yeti right now. Most people that are making music, they're often contemplating what's my next purchase gonna be for the musical aspect of this. If you're an artist that's uh, specifically um, a vocalist, uh, well, you're probably already thinking about or have already purchased a mic. Now, if you haven't purchased a mic, I would really advise you to consider this Yeti if you own an Android phone and you don't have a lot of gear for making music, if you're basically poor, if you live in the hood or whatever and you're like, I still want to make music, but like I can't really afford to make high quality music. So, um, well, in this way that I'm about to show you, yes, you can. And here's how. So with this Yeti mic, okay, and this Samsung Galaxy S9. On the S9, I've purchased, now I'm gonna be honest, I've purchased whatever many mix packs I wanted 
from this site. So I, Music Maker Jam itself is free, right? So you can, Music Maker Jam, you can make beats on there, but it only gives you like four packs. So I purchased however many packs, it's sixty nine ninety nine for uh, I think like 6,000 beat coins, it's like 300 beat coins for a pack. So if you do the math, it's like 10, 20 packs, like 30 packs depending. Um, and you get, you get a however many packs and you fill out your beat coins. Um, and uh, so I've done that three times actually, I think maybe four, um, just to get the instrumentals. So really I've spent like two, three hundred dollars on the instrumental aspect of it. So I can make very good, high quality sounding instrumentals on this program. The issue I was having was the input volume of my microphone. Now, um, if I were to record right now, it would be extremely low. Here, I'll even show you. Here's a recording. Um, here, look. If I were to go like this. Check it when I wreck it, I flip it on the scene. I've been clean like Listerine. Okay, now I just recorded that. Listen to how loud it is. It's at maximum volume, you can see. That's only one track, but still. See how quiet it is? Um, now, look at it. Now, this is with me having two tracks on it. Okay? Still pretty quiet. Now if I put four tracks, it's manageable to put an instrumental behind it. The problem is, is that it's sometimes still too quiet. Um, and then you can't put a fucking instrumental behind it. Um, so here's, here's the golden solution. Um, and I'm just going to cut to it at this point. I've been talking, talking you up for seven minutes now. and haven't told you what the answer is. Well, here it is. So, let me go grab it. This right here, my friends, is the solution. So, I found this by accident. Um, this little device. Um, now, what it is? So, let me just explain to you. One of the so one of the things that I was reading about online was that you know take a small pin and clean out your microphone hole, and it might help. Um, and I was I was like, oh, I don't have a fucking small pin, so what what can I use to like get in that little fucking little crevice and clean that shit out? Uh, so I was thinking about the phone box that I had and I was like I'll just use the the pin that they use to pop out your sim card or whatever um, so I went into the phone box and the fucking thing wasn't there I was like fuck I was like what am I gonna use now and I was, I was like well wait a minute where's my fucking uh, phone charger just out of curiosity because I didn't see it in there and then I saw this in there I was like what the fuck is that and it's not a phone charger and I don't really I actually didn't give a fuck about the end of it because I had a phone charger already, right? Whenever I bought the phone, this is what they gave me with it. Um, now I just had never taken a second look at it till just then. Now what it is, and it's fucking so sick. What it is is, is it plugs into your um, into your USB, right? And it turns your it's so this charging connection is called a USB-C, okay? And what it does is it takes it from a USB-C and transforms it into a universal USB. So you can plug in any regular USB into it, a microphone, for instance, or like even a keyboard if I wanted, right? I could plug my keyboard, I could plug my fucking mouse into it. But for me and for us using Music Maker Jam, this is significant if you haven't already done it because this piece of technology can increase your audio quality by like 100, 200%, you know what I mean? Just by using the Yeti microphone with it. So that's 110, you know, like $200 for that, plus you get this. So then all of a sudden, you know, you're like 
tops 250 and you're sitting there with banging quality really high quality interest instrumentals really high quality sound so for a total on this program I've probably spent 500 bucks to be honest with you but I've made over 600 instrumentals now all of the songs I've made up until this point right now and this is what's really this is what the takeaway is for you guys that are making music at home and that you're like just like ah fuck it I'll just like settle for my phone mic and I'll just like layer the tracks and I you know I can't really afford it it's not really worth it to, you know it's gonna be too much of a hassle well this is a way that it removes the hassle if you play video games already on PC you probably fucking have a mic you can plug in USB already so boom all you need is this piece then you take this piece and you plug it in boom boom you open up music maker jam and whenever you record you can control what's nice about the Yeti you control the volume the gain you know so you can make it sound how you want um, and the quality is perfect you know and that's what's important so it saves you having to go purchase a new computer get a new phone get all this new equipment see like I didn't even need this new phone I could have just had my a8 and literally saved all that money if I would have just went and bought this right but I didn't even know about it didn't even know what it existed actually really I didn't even think about it didn't even click into my head I could plug a microphone in all I thought about I was like how, there's no microphone with a connection that goes into that and there's no uh, microphone with high enough quality that I want to plug in with an audio jack you know what I mean like that's what my head that's where my head was at that's, that's what my headspace was and now I'm gonna be so if you if you imagine so think about Samsung s9 probably $500 phone tops you know, so like the camera in it itself, probably like fifty dollar camera tops. You know, not camera, sorry, microphone in it itself is probably fifty dollar microphone tops. Um, well, I just upgraded the microphone and my ability to control it simultaneously in this third party app, all for basically free. However, I did have the mic already, just so you know. So, if you had to buy a mic, it's not free, is it? I guess you had to buy a mic, but at the end of the day, fuck, why don't you have a mic? You should probably have a mic. Like, mics aren't that expensive either, and like, the Yeti is just like, you can find them for like 80 bucks if you want it, you know, just any USB microphone is probably fine, but like, Yeti's high enough quality that that's the one I would recommend personally. Um, if anybody wants to check out my music that I've made before, hit up the links and shit. Um, keep in mind that all of those songs up until this fucking stupid ass date are made without this fucking piece of shit mic. And with this piece of shit mic. So, apologize about that. And uh, in future, if you're looking for like a differentiation in quality um, literally all you will have to do is listen to the day after this video was released on the site provided below and if you're not listening to the music um, if you're not clicking on that link the day that I release this video guaranteed you're already listening to higher quality ones if you want to hear the lower quality ones go back and, and count the days I'm, I release one song a day so just count the days back if you want to like go back that far if you want to hear a different quality go back that far um, however many days so if it's been three days go back three days if it's been a month go back 30 days unless it's a fucking February or something I don't know fuck you get the point right like that's what's up so anyways hope that's helped I also have another really cool uh, feature about my phone that I've discovered that might save some people some info, uh, might save some time gathering the info, might save them some money, actually, um, legitimately, and that is screen sharing. Uh, so whenever you try to mirror your phone or cast it onto your your 
your computer or your TV. Um, a lot of people don't know how to do that for free. Um, and I figured out actually a way to do it efficiently, effectively, and without the freezing, the constant freezing that happens with the Windows 10 Connect. So, and I'll just tell you what it is now too, actually, before I tour. Um, no, I'm not even gonna make another video. Fuck it, I'm gonna make one video. And y'all can just scroll through. I'm a chatter, fuck it. You know, this is who it is, uh, so. Okay, how you fix the problem is, is um, if you have a Samsung, this only really works if you have a Samsung, actually. Um, I do, so fuck you. Uh, what, yeah. So it works for me, and that's where I draw the line. I'm not looking for any more solutions. Um, if you own a Samsung, one of the cool features about it is, is if you plug it in with a USB to your computer, it can mirror it. Um, you can project it onto your computer. Um, now, if you plug your computer HDMI to your TV, boom, now you're projecting onto your TV. Um, now, the only downside of that is obviously that it needs to be um, needs to be hardwired into your computer USB. So you just have to basically like it's like you're charging your phone, or you just get a long enough cord. So if you're trying to like screen share something, like um, say you're trying to take a video. Um, but you don't want to be like tethered too closely to your computer, then you just fucking uh, get a long enough cord, like a 10, 20 foot cord, boom, problem solved. Um, I mean, like you're not going to be able to do it effectively from outside or anything, but from in the same room, relatively close to your computer, you're pretty good. Um, and then you just can do whatever you want, you know. 20 foot cord, put your fucking phone down, bring your computer wherever you want, I don't know. That's it. That's the solution. Oh, and the program, if you're wondering, uh, that Samsung has is called like DEX, capital D, lowercase e, capital X. So and it's it's D extremist program there, uh, jihadi stuff. You know, what I mean, just kidding. Ah, <laughs> fucking just joking. But anyways. I'm out before I say anything else, put my foot in my mouth and shit. Uh, I'd show you the quality differentiation between the video, but like literally it would be weird because I'd have to unplug that, plug it into that, and then do it all. I'd just take my word for it when I say that it's fucking immaculate, like crystal, you know? So anyways, the Don, medieval.